everyone, it is me, Angela, and please ignore the background. There's a bunch of boxes. I threw a blanket over it to make it look less like a hot mess. It's late at night. This is literally the only room that has any kind of lighting. The rest of my house is like a dungeon. So I couldn't put off making this video because if I'm being completely honest, I would never make this video. Um, this is actually a video I've been thinking about making for many years. I just never got around to it, honestly, because I didn't necessarily want to make it, even though I wanted to make it. It's complicated. Um, because I, I realize I've never actually spoken my story out loud to anyone. Like, I wrote a blog post about it a couple of times, but I'm pretty sure I deleted them. So anyways, what I'm talking about is yesterday was March 1st and it was the 11th anniversary of when my high school got hit by a tornado and killed eight students and a woman who lived in the city. I'm not going to say the names of the students even though it's Googleable, um, just for respect to the family, I'm just not going to say any names. And basically this is my experience. Everyone in that school had a different experience, but this is mine. And um, because the anniversary just came up, I just, I don't know why, I just felt the need to maybe just get it off my chest. I'm not real sure, but I just felt the need to make this video. So I was in 10th grade in Spanish class when the tornado siren went off and I remember sitting in the first hall it wasn't called the first hallway but I think it was like the science wing it's been 11 years so my memory um, and while we were sitting there people were playing with paper footballs you know this was back in the day before everyone had smartphones everyone was just talking having fun. Everyone was like, oh, I hope they cancel school so I can go to Sonic and get some food. I remember a lot of people saying that around me. Um, but we eventually had to move because the entire science wing hall had giant glass windows all the way down it. So they moved us. Uh, I can't remember if it was second or third hall, but it was right in front of my English teacher's class. Originally, I'm an awkward person and there were so many people already because that hall was already full and then we had to go and sit with all those people and I was kind of panicking. Um, so when a sub that I don't even know her name told me to just sit down where I was, I was sitting in front of a door. Me and another person were sitting in front of a door which is something you are not supposed to do. But when I was told to sit down and I panicked and I didn't want to tell anyone to move because I'm that human. So I sit down in front of a door. Um, thankfully, a teacher forced people to scoot over so me and the other person could move. So I was not sitting in front of that door anymore. It was a lot of joking and talking. And then, all of a sudden, the power went out. And you could just hear screams, um, like start at one end of the school and then it was like a wave of screams and this was a pretty big high school at least for around here standards um, I think there were like 2,000 or more kids in school so like for around here that's pretty big and I remember the sunroofs there were like little sunroofs I remember the one right above us shattered and you know you went through the drills in school you're supposed to put your head down cover your head but in that moment I was like frozen and all I could do was stare up at the the window that had just shattered um, and I remember the substitute teacher who told me to move from the doorway was on a chair in front of the very doorway and I remember that doorway wishing open. Thankfully she was okay. She didn't like get sucked in or anything. 
but that could have been a very bad situation. And then, next thing I know, the girl next to me, and I can't remember her face, and I don't know her name, and I don't know if I've ever seen her again, she took the blanket she was holding and she threw it over my head. Because like I said, I was not putting my head down. I was just like in shock, I guess. And I was just staring around at everything breaking and shattering and you could see the sky above and it was really dark and not bad. I don't know how long it lasted, honestly. Felt like forever. So, um, when it all calmed down, we were all just sitting there and teachers were running up and down with flashlights. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Um, we were told to just sit still. Everyone around me was okay. But, again, waves of screams started happening, but they were coming from the opposite way. And it was completely dark in the hallway because all the power was out. The only lights were from the skylines every few feet. So, in the distance, you could see someone walking every once in a while under those skylights. And then once he got close to me, it was a student who was just covered in blood. And so, I, f I feel really bad for him. He, he got, I think he got stitches, but I'm pretty sure he was A-OK. -okay. Um, but I feel so bad for him. Could you, could you imagine walking down the hall, not not being able to see yourself and then having people scream at the side of you. I can't even imagine how scared he was. I'm pretty sure I screamed too. I honestly, I don't remember. Um, I actually saw that kid years later leaving Little Caesars and I had to like park the car cause it just hit me. Like I hadn't seen that kid that I could remember until years later leaving Little Caesars and it just all hit me and I had to not drive for a second. But anyways, um, I don't remember being, I don't remember hyperventilating or anything, but um, a guy who I'm still um, friendly with nowadays, I won't say his name for privacy reasons, um, he grabbed me and he was like, do you need help? <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> and I, th it was then that I realized like I was not breathing, I wasn't breathing right. But um, I was able to calm down, he walked me out side like through all the trash and debris and then he ran back inside to see if anyone else needed help um and that is when we went to the giant church that was next door and uh we sat there and we waited for parents to come get us and my brother and my dad showed up and got me after a while and i went home and i remember my parents watching the news and it was like the list of people missing or the people hurt or the people dead started off really big and then it kept going down um, until it finally confirmed that eight kids were dead. S a lot were injured. Um, basically one of the hallways, a certain proportion of the hallway collapsed and that's just where all of those kids were. And Sorry if everything's misplaced. Um, the memory card ran out of space. Anyways. The school was pretty much completely destroyed and the elementary school next door was pretty messed up. Tons, and by tons, I obviously don't mean tons. Many, many homes um, were destroyed. President Bush was president at the time of me being in high school. That's how old I am. Um, he came, but from what I understood, only like student, the student body and the family of the kids who passed away were allowed to come listen to him speak, even though it was for our school, only certain people were allowed to go. So, um, I remember my mom, and, um, she was a huge Bush supporter, and she drove us to this little country airport, it's not even an airport, it's not what you picture as an airport, um, it's basically a big field, 
anyways, um, she drove us there since we were not allowed to go see Bush speaking. Um, she drove us there and then we got to see, you know, the several cars pull up because he had many cars in Secret Service. And then we got to see him get inside of helicopters and they're waving and there were other people there who also showed up. The, uh, we ended up going, finishing out high school at a local community college campus. Um, the first year, my, my 10th grade year, um, we just used the actual college itself and we had to work around the college schedule so we would go to school like one hour this day a few hours that day and it was just a crazy schedule and then um, by the time my junior year came around there were I'm guessing FEMA trailers some kind of trailers were set up for us to go in and they were classrooms basically and that was the normal I went to school I finished out my high school career if you will in trailers on the community college campus and um, it was weird at first, but it became the norm. Um, there was a memorial for the students and the woman built on the old high school campus. I actually didn't ever go see it until this past summer. I don't know why I didn't go see it. I just never, I, don't know, I just never did. But I happened to be driving by no one was there, so I got out and took a look. It's very nice. Now, um, the high school has a giant high school, literally a giant high school. Um, it's very nice. I've been inside it like once or twice, I think. But yeah, that's kind of my story of when my high school on March first 2007 got hit by a tornado I was not harmed um, no one I personally knew was harmed um, but students did die and it was not um, it was a very sad time for our community for quite a while it did in ways bring our community closer to like it brought our school closer together because, um, I wish I remember what the girl who threw the blanket over me looks like. That's like one of my biggest regrets that I don't remember what she looks like. So I can tell her thank you. Like for all I know she knows who I am and I've never thanked her. Like that's just, that's just a thought I keep having in my head. Like what if she's someone I see very often and I just cannot remember who it was. But yeah. I've got normal, less sad videos coming up. Um, I've got the Black Panther review and a couple of book related videos. So I promise the next video will not be this sad. I just felt like it was the anniversary. I finally felt like I was ready to just get it off my chest. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you'll stick around for next video and I'll see you later. Bye.